Yeah, the, the plastic problem um, that we're facing in this industry is my main concern and that's where I find like um, a total ignorance when it comes to all of us uh, totally ignoring the problem of plastic using so much plastic to align teeth. Um, we're forgetting so many things related to um, eco-friendliness on one side, we're forgetting as well that there, there is plastic unleashed from the aligners called nanoplastics. So the, the, the final, or let's say that eventually the solution should be one day that we find alternatives to plastic or we find biodegradable plastics, for example. Um, but I, I always say, okay, let's look at like the, um, the lower hanging fruit concept or principle where you could just really easily start by at least decreasing plastic. And it is possible. I mean, it is um, practically and theoretically possible to decrease plastic by at least 50%. I mean, that's good for everyone. I mean, it, it serves, um, let's say, the capital perspective from the point of economical perspective, I would say, um, as well as it comes with so many other advantages and value for the doctor and the patients as well. So, um, when it comes to the amount of plastic, we're talking about an average of 30,000 tons of plastics per year, only from the lighter industry. Um, that's, um, yeah, considering that there's like an average of 22 million patients per year, um, more or less, you could adjust the numbers. Um, however, it, it's not about the number of 30,000 tons itself, but it's about how the increase is, and that is what's so mundane about it. I mean, the market has increased over double in the last five years. Um, and thanks to so many companies hopping into the market and um, making aligners, more providers for, for the plastic, as well as uh, in-house production of aligners, etc., etc., you name it. So, with, with all the amount of plastic, um, that is being uh, produced and it's just a single-use plastic. It's either thrown in the ocean or it's burnt afterwards. And um, guess what? I, only 6% of the plastic could be recyclable. Um, you think that anything you throw out there into the recycle bin that it will be recycled, but actually 6% um, from that is recycled. The rest is unfortunately thrown away because due to the huge uh, demand for uh, recycling.